edit. Congratulations, guys. I love this. You don't see a lot of tennis comedies out there. You do not. not. Any. Yeah. yeah. And it's weird because it is a, it, it's a very, in a lot of ways, it's a cinematic sport, you know, especially doubles. Um, I would say singles is, is more difficult to make, but I can see yeah. David R. Russell doing like a black swan of yeah. singles because yeah. it's really internal. Uh, but doubles, it's a, you know, two players, they have to get along, they operate differently. But I wanted to ask you, you know, you've, you had a great bond in this, fa in this film, <clears throat> um, but you know, brothers have problems as we see, but how did it, you know, did you guys hit it off right away? Because there's very good chemistry with the two of you. Oh, thank you, yeah. We actually knew each other kind of, uh, in the beginning, and the first scene where we're estranged and see each other first time in seven years was the first scene we shot in the movie. So I think they did a nice job of scheduling that because I didn't know him that well. But like quickly, I started to like really like hanging out to the point. Well, this is probably sound weird, but our dressing rooms were very small, and we just tore down the middle wall so that we could watch <laughs> each other get dressed. Too much information. Too much information. No, but the point is, we liked hanging out the whole time. We didn't use the bathroom in there. <laughs> <laughs> very small. <laughs> but uh, we, I, I grew to like him very, very much as it went on, and so uh, hopefully that comes through in the film. But you know, there was a few scenes where we weren't supposed to like each other too much. And, and you know, there was always a thing with uh, in the script with Darren that a concern that he wasn't going. You know, on the page he wasn't as fun as 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 Jimmy, and and so and all along I was intent, and and Gene and everyone was like, once we find the guy, that all changes. And so the minute David stepped into the shoes, then it, it all kind of made sense. And, and, you know, it was just fortunate that, you know, we get along well and we kind of uh, enjoy, you know, teasing each other, making fun of each other, worked. beating each other up, you know, totally all those worked. things. Um, and now if I got a script and I like, got to play tennis for pretty much most of it, I'd probably be like, see you later. Now, you played tennis before, but how hard was it for you to, like, you got on sync off the court, but getting on sync on the court, how hard was that? Uh, it was nerve-wracking. I mean, we played a lot right when I got cast. Is it scary for you? Yeah, because yeah. I, because you think in your mind that you look like Roger Federer, you know, and then you look at playback and you're like, oh, good God, <laughs> <laughs> like this is a disaster. So, uh, I, um, to me, it was more like we're shooting a movie. We got to look like like we could actually qualify for the U.S. Open. And in a lot of ways, you know, Jeremy, I think, I think looks better more technically than I do, and so I felt like I had to. You know, I may be able to hit the ball, but you've seen tennis players who have like weird ass swings and then they beat your ass. So it's like we had to look good too, as well as being able to hit the ball. Yeah. And I think everyone scary. does look good. It was scary. I've ne I'd never, uh, he had a little, little upper hand in the sense that he had played in front of people before. I'd never played a sport in front of people. So it was, that was deeply frightening for me. Yeah. Um, you know, you, as good as you guys were in this movie, um, little Joshua Rushman. Yeah. What, what is it with you and these young actors? Like, you, you've got a knack for working with these young I know. Kids. We're, uh, <laughs> I just fired my agents. Yeah. No longer working with prepubescent tweens. Um, no, I, uh, uh, he's, he's got, awesome. Yeah, the, and you know, my the kid from About a Boy and and Josh are like best friends too. So it's, it's really strange. <laughs> Telling anyway, stories about you, yeah, I'm sure. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, no, but Josh, you know, th to be that good at acting at that age, uh, you have to be really, really smart and really special. And that's he is. I mean, he's smarter than the two of us combined. <laughs> yeah, he's a unique kid. He's got a He's just got a great personality, and he's, you know, I mean, these interviews I did with him yesterday, everything he says is genius, is brilliant, is, uh, 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 you know, so he's he's a legend, really, and in, our, in, our, in my mind he is, and I think he's going to go on to be, to do some pretty interesting things, right. whether it's in this business or saving the world, I'm not sure what, but it's yeah. going to be big. Very smart kid. Just have to know, last thing, is scrotum tennis balls a thing? No, that's a thing in Gene's mind, apparently, the writer, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's a six. It will man. be a thing. Once the movie comes out, it'll be the next big thing on the USTI junior circuit. Yep. Yeah, I think the tennis players are going to use that for sure. <laughs> Guys, terrific job. <laughs> Thank Always you so uh, much. just a pleasure to talk to you both.